Don't waste your time listening to crappy headphones. You deserve better than what's in the box. With the Clarity HD headphones, listen your way, Bluetooth, analog, or digital. Find yours at PlugHitsLive.com slash monster. Hey guys, Scott here with Plug Hits Live, part of the Tech Podcast Network. I am here at CES 2017 with Proof, and we're talking with Evan about the uh, an alcohol sensor, right? Yeah, first wearable that can track alcohol. So uh, the idea is everyone has that moment uh, where their glass is empty, and uh, their friend looks across the table and goes, would you like another drink? And how you answer that is really important. Uh, it can affect, it has short and long-term implications. And pulling out a breathalyzer may be a little socially awkward uh, or just gives you one data point where you'd rather have continuous data. So we created a solution proof which gives you continuous tracking throughout your evening. So the idea is at 6 p.m. when you're getting ready to go, you put on proof, you pair it with your smartphone, and then you set alerts for yourself. So if you're planning on driving home later, set it at 0.08. Enjoy your night, forget about proof, and it'll alert you when you reach that level. Not only that, but whenever you go into the app, which, by the way, you're looking at, nobody knows what you're doing. You could be on Snapchat, you could be on Instagram, or checking your blood alcohol. Um, you can see when you will be sober. Uh, so you can know in that moment whether or not, you know, uh, that information uh, is uh, helpful. Um, so, yeah, and then there's also a social aspect to it. Uh, we're very careful about it. It's invite only, and it's more like a safety buddy. So if I'm growing out with a group, uh, and I want them to make sure that I also get home, and I make sure they get home, then we can all uh, have, a, have an evening that's uh, enjoyable. And the main idea behind it is to inspire people to make educated decisions while drinking. And I like, so what, one of the conversations that we were having before the interview off camera was that the device kind of looks like a Fitbit. So even the, the physical thing doesn't have to be awkward. You mentioned, you know, blowing into a breathalyzer at a bar and you kind of look a little crazy. With this, even the, the thing looks calm. Yeah. And that was uh, the goal from the beginning. Um, especially when we were looking at breathalyzers, um, it, the key thing was to make take away the social stigma. Um, because more people use it that way. And we think the information, it's, it's educational, but not only that, it's predictive, and it's finally a sensor that uh, provides some information that helps you make a decision. Um, I can talk about the, uh, the how it does it a little bit, if you'd like. Absolutely. because. I'm, I'm very interested in the actual behavior of it because obviously we know the breathalyzer, we know you can do it via like a, a blood test, but how does this one work? Yeah, uh, so we, I'll tell you, we've been at it for two years. Uh, it's been a lot of work and the sensor itself, which is the size of a dime, it's on the skin side of that device, is um, our bread and butter. And the way it reads is the alcohol molecule that's in any drink, wine glass, a uh, shot of vodka, anything like that, it goes into your stomach, into your bloodstream, and a small percentage diffuses naturally out of your skin. And we've developed a sensor that reads the alcohol that naturally diffuses and converts it to a, uh, an electrical current, which then tells you your blood level. Very interesting. So what it's sensing isn't necessarily the exact percentage, but it knows what the percentage is based on what it's sensing. Yeah, it knows roughly concentration. So there's set, it said X number of alcohol molecules coming out, and uh, that correlates. Um, and the way, so as I said, we're, we've been around for two years, um, and we've done uh, many, many tests with it. We actually even, and they're pretty fun, uh, uh, we even sent it Last it seems like this is the city to maybe do those tests yeah. <laughs> Yes, it's actually perfect. And they have zero tolerance in driving and drinking. Uh, whereas in where we're from, California, it's 0.08. Um, but uh, one year ago, we were submitting our proof device to the National Institute of Health, the government agency. It was, it was terrifying. We were sending it over. It was like, hope it makes it. Made it over there. We tried to do the best video tutorial as we could that would explain how to use it. They third-party tested it against blood tests and police-grade breathalyzers, 
And from that, they awarded us $100,000. To go and take this thing to market, people need this thing. That's it. That, congratulations. That's great. Yeah, it was a huge boost. Um, and now uh, it's really exciting because it's been about eight months since we got that, um, that boost. And this, what you're seeing today, is the first time anyone's seen the product. Uh, and actually, the proofwearable.com website went live last night. So all of this is brand new and um, very exciting, uh, especially for us and hopefully, you know, and, and definitely for the consumer, sure. to, especially for those who are, have used a breathalyzer, know someone who has one and is looking for a slightly better solution. So it's brand new today, just showing it to the world. What kind of availability are we looking at for getting our hands or, I guess, wrists on one of these. Right, yes, let's talk about uh, timeline and price, right? Because people care about, is it gonna fit their budget? So, timeline, because we're just revealing it, the next step for us is crowdfunding. And that we're shooting for as soon as possible. Um, the price point is gonna be between $100 and $150, which sits right within the, the average of like the Fitbits out there. Uh, you know, at larger scales, the price can come down too. So. Um, we're excited to make this accessible for everyone. And uh, after the crowdfunding, where are you hoping that these will be available? Are you planning on doing them like solo direct or Amazon, Best Buy? Like, where are we talking about? We'll start direct. Uh, we're open to partnerships. So looking to get, we're open to partnerships. And uh, I saw, saw a red badge come by a little while ago. So. Talking to a, f a few of them already. Um, and yeah, we, we'll start off direct um, uh, retail uh, opportunities, definitely. Um, we also understand that the, spot, the space on your wrist is premium, and our sensor uh, is the size of a dime, and if you kind of go along with that train of thought, you could imagine it in other comparable devices uh, in the future. And that's, let's talk about, so Proof is the wearable alcohol sensor. Let's talk about Milo Sensors. That's our company. And we called it that because we are creating wearable biosensors. We saw the wearable industry plateauing with step counting and heart rate tracking. And there are all these molecules from the food that you ate this morning to the lactic acid that's coming out of your skin when you work out, that uh, all these molecules that were being untapped, uh, both wellness and health related. And so we foresee uh, the future being um, monitoring uh, alcohol and other molecules out of your skin. And that comes in many form factors for us, but proof is our starting point. Gotcha. So the technology could be licensed in the future to be included in other products. Absolutely. Yeah. That's, that's really cool. So um, crowdfunding coming soon, yeah, as like, soon as possible. Like as soon as possible, yeah. Um, you know, obviously this has made us push in the, in the areas to like prep. And a lot of the information out here that we're showing is a lot of the material that we would include in our crowdfunding campaign. So what you're seeing here is, is really, really close. Well, I look forward to, uh, to seeing this hit the market. Yes. Um, on crowdfunding soon. Yes. <laughs> And uh, I, it's, it's a, obviously it's a great idea. I've seen people coming over to the booth kind of all day. So it's definitely a good idea. And uh, thanks for taking the time to talk to us about it today. Thank you. Yeah. For continuing CES 2017 coverage, stay tuned to PluckIt'sLive.com. Yeah.